All right, one more before bed. Uh, it's about a quarter after 10, West Coast time, Saturday night in San Francisco, California. And I'm still kind of sick, so I'm not doing anything fun tonight. <laughs> it's Saturday night in San Francisco, and I'm going to go to bed at 1030. What are you going to do? Uh, Monday, day after tomorrow, August 28th. There are two extremely important Donald Trump-related court hearings that are going to happen. The first one, um, well, I'm going to do, I'll do the other one first. Um, Mark Meadows filed a motion to have his Fulton County, Georgia case removed from state court to federal court. The hearing on his motion is the day after tomorrow, on Monday the 28th. Um, I did some digging into that, that hearing. He filed that motion in federal court, uh, for whatever circuit, uh, encompasses Fulton County. So that hearing will not be televised. Uh, sadly, I would like to see that. Um, and why did he do that? There's no other benefit than it would give him a better chance at selecting a, a more favorable jury to him. Because when the case is in Fulton County, you pick your jury from Fulton County. When you remove it to federal court, then you're dealing with that entire federal district, which expands from Fulton County out into rural counties, most of whom voted for Donald Trump quite heavily. And so that's the jury pool. That's the potential jury pool now. And because you're still, even though the case is removed to federal court, it's still the state charges. Uh, it's not federal charges. And Fonnie Willis is still the prosecutor. So of critical importance, even though it's removed to federal court, that doesn't make it a federal case which means that he's not eligible for a pardon from a president of the United States should Donald Trump get reelected. But let's face it, I mean, he's a vindictive little prick and he would never give these people pardons anyway because none of their efforts were successful and he had to leave the White House on January 20th of 2021 in disgrace. Um, so that hearing is Monday. Uh, I think we're going to get a lot of reporting on that on Monday. Uh, pretty immediately after that hearing concludes. So I will do updates on that as, as required. The second hearing that is taking place on Monday will take place in Washington, D.C. in federal court in front of Judge Tanya Chutkin, where she will be selecting a trial date uh, for Jack Smith's January 6th efforts to over turn the 2020 election indictment against Donald Trump. And so for background on this one, it's like she's, she said both sides, you know, send me your requests for trial dates. Jack Smith being very reasonable and competent and respectful of the judge and the court requested a trial date of January 2nd, 2024, this coming January. Donald Trump and his attorneys being absolute clowns who decided that they would take advantage of this opportunity to, in written form, completely destroy all of their credibility with this judge and demonstrate their absolute buffoonery and clownishness in a manner which makes it extremely easy for this judge to not take Donald Trump's attorneys seriously in any way, shape or form. Uh, said we would like the trial date to be set for April 2026, almost three years from now, two and a half years, whatever. That request is silly and laughable and ludicrous and dumb and stupid and, like I said, will have the effect on Judge Chutkin of saying, oh, okay, they're not, they're not responding to my request in good faith. Uh, they made a request 
that is the dumbest thing I've seen in a decade on the federal bench, and therefore I don't have to take them seriously, so I won't. And remember that Donald Trump's attorney in the Washington, D.C. federal court January 6th case is a guy named John Lauro, L-A-U-R-O. When you look up his firm, it's him, his partner, and a paralegal. There are three people in that firm fighting this case against the United States government wherein the first president in United States history tried to overturn the results of a free and fair election and remain in office when he was not entitled to do so. Effectively, a coup. And Trump hired that guy. Wow. Amazing. Um, I don't know that Jack Smith will get the exact date that he wanted. I think it's 50-50 that he might because of the response of Trump's attorneys that was so dumb and silly and ludicrous and ridiculous and buffoonery. But even if she doesn't give Jack Smith the exact date that he wants, it's going to be within a month or two of that. Every, everyone involved in that case, except for Donald Trump and his attorneys, pretty firmly believe that that case needs to go to trial and have a jury verdict before the 2024 election. And I believe that will happen. Uh, and, and, and I love that for him. Cool. Cool.